Heavenly Father, we come this morning in the name of Jesus. We just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day, God. Thank you for keeping us safe through the night and waking us up this morning. Father, we thank you because of who you are, Lord, that you are our provider, Lord. You are... God, you are a healer, our deliverer. You are our strength. You are our hope. Father God, you are everything that we need, Lord. And we thank you for that today. And we don't take it lightly, Father God. We want to come, be thankful, Lord, that we can come into your house, Lord God, with the sisters and brothers, oh God, and to hold you up, Father God, that we come together in unity and one accord, Father God. And Lord, we know that one person, you said a house divided against itself cannot stand. But when we come together in unity, Father God, we have power power and authority. So Father God, we thank you for that, that we come together in here, Father God, lifting you up and praising you, Lord, Father God, giving you glory and honor and reverencing you, Father God, because of your goodness and your mercy, your faithfulness, God. No matter what goes on in our lives, Father God, we know that you are still in control. You are on your throne. So Father, we thank you for that today. And we thank you, Father God, for your Holy Spirit that dwells inside of us, oh God, that when we accept your son, Jesus Christ, Lord, Lord, your spirit comes and lives inside of us, oh God, and changes us, oh God, that we are never the same, oh God. And we thank you for that today. Lord, we don't want to take that lightly, Father God. We want to reverence you and acknowledge you, Lord God, because of who you are, Father God. And Lord, we thank you that we have a house to come to, Father God, that we can come together, Father God, in unity and one accord, Father God. And we thank you, Lord, Father, for our pastor and for Sister Jackie and Pastor Mark, Lord, Father God. We thank you for them, Father God. We thank you for their faithful this Lord and we just thank you Lord Father God we just come with a heart of gratitude this morning Lord that every time we look around we say thank you Lord thank you for the stars thank you for the moon thank you for the sun thank you for the trees thank you for the rain thank you for the fire thank you for everything God we just have a, a heart of gratitude to say thank you Lord thank you for saving us Lord thank you Father that the blood of your son pours through us and, and fills us oh God thank you that our Holy Spirit your Holy Spirit fills us God we just say thank you, Lord. We are just, you know, we are just vessels of thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All through the day, Father, we just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Even, Father God, when we have pain, we say thank you because there are people that can't even feel the pain. But we thank you that we can feel it, oh God. We thank you that we can see, oh God. We thank you that we can hear, oh God. We thank you, Lord. And, Father, we thank you for your word that leads us and guides us, Father God. We thank you, Father God. And we just pray today, Father, that you you would move mightily in the service, Lord. We come with expectations, Lord, because we want to see your glory. We want to see your glory move in here, Lord. We want to see people healed, delivered, and set free, Father God. We want to see you move mightily, oh God. So we just pray, Father God, that when Pastor Mark brings your word, Lord, let it be a word that will change us, oh God. Let us, oh Father God, just use him today, Lord. Pour out your power on him, Father God. Pour out your power, Lord. Let your word come with full power today. God, that we will change, oh God, that we will not be the same that we came in here, Lord Father. And Father God, we just thank you for each and every one that's here. We ask that you would pour out your spirit in here today, Lord. Touch the praise team, Lord. Touch each one, Father God, that took the sacrifice to come out, Lord Father. And we just ask you today, Lord, have your way in this service. Lord, just have your way. Let your will be done. And we will be so careful this day to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yes, God. Oh, that was kind of weak. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Well, today's Father's Day. Yes, it is. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. You have a hard job. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <clears throat> it's true. I just want to give a little bit of a testimony about me and my father. Me and my father weren't very close. I tried and tried and tried to be close with my father throughout the years, and we just didn't have that bond. You know how fathers were back in the older days? They just, they worked, and they came home from work, and that was it. <laughs> their, their day was done. I didn't learn a lot from my father. But what, one thing that I did catch that my father didn't even teach me was how to be loyal. Because that's what he was. My father was a loyal father. 
He went to work every day. He provided. And I wasn't paying attention then, but guess what? I caught it later. You know, and <laughs> the older and older that you get, the more and more you become like your parents. Irregardless if you want it or not. So as a kid, I go back to thinking of my father saying to me, do this. Well, why do you want me to do this? Because I said so. And that was the answer. And guess what? You catch yourself saying it to your kids. Yes. Amen. Why do I got to do this? Well, because I said so. So that's it. I was scared to death of my father. Scared to death of him. He was a big man. 6'2", big guy. Everybody that I knew was afraid of my father. And trust me, I would never challenge my father. Ever. But these kids today, they just don't have the respect for their fathers like they should have. So we have to teach them. The Lord had put on my heart that we have to prepare these kids that are going out into the world for life because guess what? When they get out there, it's too much for them. They're committing suicide. That's right. Why are they committing suicide? Because they get out in life and they're like, this is too hard. I'm not prepared for this. Well, it's our jobs as parents to prepare them for what's to come. Amen. 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 So I just wanted to say that today. And uh, I want to thank all the fathers out there, as well as the mothers. Everybody has a tough job out there, and it's our responsibility to raise our kids up in the way they should go. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you today, Lord. We worship you in this place, mighty God.
Hallelujah. He is an anointed plague. Come on, Dave. Woo. That little boy.
about David he was just a little guy yes. right yeah. yes, but man he was so big in the Lord he was yes, he was. Was. nothing could stop him mm -mm. so where's your desire at Come on now. because when you're searching after something and when there's something that you want you go after it yes, you do. right yes. 
Amen. You go after it. So where's your desire? Is your desire to go after God? Because he's here. Yes. And he wants yes. you. Yes. He is here. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Woo. Have so way. let's go to worship. And this first song, Breathe on Me, written by Tim Burns. Just listen to the words.
sing about God being on the throne. The Lord is on the throne always and forever.
Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Glory Have to your name, way. mighty God. Way, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cry out. Blessing and honor. Yes, God. Glory and power, mighty God. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. We worship you, Father. Have your way, God. We worship Have your way, God. you. Hallelujah. You are our Father. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are our Father. You created all things, God. You are our Father. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God. We worship you, Father. Have your way, God. Have your way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the Hallelujah. Yeah. Would you sing that for me, please? In the key of D. Everyone come to the front. Everyone in the church, if you are mobile, come to the front. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, mighty God. Spare. Duplicate. Grendel. Here. Duplicate. This is a duplicate. Yes, God. Thank you, I did. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> if y'all heard I knew I'd get to them. Pastor Mark. <laughs> Make sure it's in the candy. Lift your hands up, please, and every eye close. <laughs> Oh, she even knows the melody to that. I wish I could play a melody. If I could get the melody, I could sing. <laughs> Isn't that right, brother? Yes, yes. Hey, you, hey, swallow that gum, man. Get rid of that gum. Put your mind on God. You too. Have your way, love. Hands up, your eyes closed. Have your way, God. Take it now. <laughs> that mic away from your mouth. Oh. 
my cup.
increase. Lift your hands up and open up your mouths and give, 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 begin to give the Father praise and glory. Praise the Lord. We worship you, Father. We worship you, mighty God. You. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. Lift your hands up over your heads, everybody, right now. Lift your hands up over your heads. Hands up over your heads. Worshiping him. Hallelujah. Somebody Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Have your way, God. Somebody worship him. Get on this platform now, move! 
Let the Holy Spirit have right away on you for a minute. Let the Holy Spirit have right away on you just for a minute. Sister Davis, come here and worship right here. Worship right there for a minute. Mighty God, mighty God, just do it like this. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Where's that lady in the orange? Right here, sister, right here. Get her quick, my God, the fire's in this church. same time. Do it now. or whatever that is. Orange. You two praying the Holy Spirit. Something's being broken right now. Come on, run, man. Let's go. Come on. Do the program. when I'm saying something. Heavy, the spirit of heaviness is going to leave here. 
him? Would you do exactly to him what you did to him? Do it now. Do it now. It's not, it's phony, and you have no life. You have no life. It's fake. I can see it on you. It's fake. It's phony. You know what phony is? It means it's not real. It's pretend makeup. You know what makeup is? Well, that's where you're at, brother. The land of the makeup. The land of the makeup. See, this is what church is about, brother. It isn't going to a social meeting. This is what the house of God is supposed to be. A place of deliverance. And when there's no deliverance, there's no God. It's fake. It's fake. I said it's fake. Maybe you didn't hear me. Hey, did I dismiss you guys? Get your hands up and start praising God. Start worshiping the Lord. Hold that. Hey, what's wrong with you? Lift your hands up and worship God. You two sisters, grab hands there and worship the Lord. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Don't touch him. Back away from him. Not you. Not you. You stay right where you're at. You just keep looking up. Just keep doing. Let the Spirit do what He's doing to you. Play E minor. <laughs> just like that. Uh oh. Good looking water, man. Huh? Turn, turn. Got it. Do it. Just 
like that. That's what I want. Can you drag it out just a little further?
Danny, did you learn anything today? Did you feel that when we hit that presence that I have to have? Did you feel it? It, it came twice. See, the Spirit says very many places will let me in. I want to come in. But very many places and not very many places, saith the Lord, that will let me, allow me to move, saith God, the way I want to move. I want to bring deliverance. I want to show my power and my strength. But the church won't let me. The body will not let me. Shh. The body will not let me. But I'm going to move, saith the Lord, without their opinion and without, without their yes. <clears throat> Lift your hands up. Everyone in the room. If you have something wrong with you physically, touch it right now. God's going to heal you. <clears throat> touch it. Whatever it is, touch it. Let him touch you right now. The Spirit comes for a reason. It must be for that. It can't just be just for prophecy. It must be for something, right? Somebody say, it must be for something. Somebody say it again. It must be for something, right? Isn't that right? Amen. Great and mighty is he. Great and mighty is he. <clears throat> None can compare with the beauty of his holiness. If you ever touch his holiness in prayer, you will never question God again. It broke me the first time I felt it. How many of you touched something on your body? You did? Be very careful right now. The spirit is very heavy. Danny, you in the white shirt. You have to watch me constantly. You can't stand there and suck the spirit in. Lift your hands up. If you put your hand on a part of your body, come forward, please. Come on, come on. You did. What was your... Give me that mic. Danny, where's Danny? You learned something, Danny? Did you, did you, I think you're the only one that sensed it. Did you sense it? That's the anointing I have to have to minister. And with, when that anointing is not here, it's just music. But you can't bring it here. You gotta prepare it. People ask me, why do you have a second song service? Because I have to have this to minister. All right? Lift your hands over your head. What seems to be the problem? I thought you said God healed you. Lift your hands up. Now. Now, Father God. Now in the... There it is. Lift your arms up over your head. Take it right now. Take, take it right now. There it is right there. I'm, whoa! Ho, ho. There it is. There it... I took it. Yeah, I'm healed. What? I'm healed. I am Put your hands over your head. What do you mean you're healed? What does that mean? Is it gone? Yeah. Give me a mic. Quick, 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 quick. Lift your hand. It's getting foggy in here, you guys. It's gone. All my lower pain is gone. Good. Yeah. 
All my lower pain is gone. It's gone. How's it feel right now? Go stand over there. <clears throat> Next. It was you. Did you touch something on your body? Well, come here. Lift your hands up. You're not afraid of me, are you? Huh? You afraid of me? You look like you're... Good. What'd you touch? Your head? Lift your hands up and close your eyes. It's going to heal you all the way right now. Did you hear what I just said? I gave you two commands. Lift your hands up and close your eyes. That's what I said to you. Do them both now. Uh-oh. <laughs> now. 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 There's power right there. There's power right there. He's, he's not yielding to it. There's power right there. That's the power of the Holy... That's your hand go. That's your hand go. That's the power of the Holy Spirit right now. That's the power of the Holy Spirit right now. Lift your hands up. You with the glasses on. Lift your hands up. Now. Heal the devastation now, mighty God. Heal the devastation now, mighty God. Heal the devastation now. Did you touch? What did you touch? What did you touch? Here. Here. Hey, I like those shoes. <laughs> Pretty sharp, isn't it? Did, how do you feel? What does that mean? Look at her. Do something you couldn't do before. Do something you could not do before. Stay here in these high heels. You couldn't? No. You had them off out there? No, I no, I didn't. But if I wear them too long, I have to take them off. And it was killing me standing up here. It's gone. I can wear them. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. Now, mighty God. Hand over. Now, mighty God. Now. I'm not going to touch anybody that's dead. Don't worry. <clears throat> Look at God's preparing you for fire right now. The fire of the Holy Spirit. He's getting ready to come on you in a ba the baptism of the Holy Spirit just like when you first got saved. You remember that? Huh? Lift your hands up. You want that? No! Glory to God. up! Move forward. Further. 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 Let me teach you something right now. Hey, lift your hands up. Do you ever get to minister like this? Okay, don't ever touch anybody that's dead. Never. Because if you touch someone that's dead, they need to let the dead bury them, not the living. Amen. <laughs> Put your hands up. I just gave you a revelation that came from God. Did you hear that? Yes. 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 Have your way. Have your way. Everybody thinks that scripture was physical. It was spiritual, God said. Yes. Let the dead bury the dead. And let the living live. Yes. Have your way, God. Woo. Wonderful Savior. Look here. Look at this. She's being healed right now and she don't even know it. Your mother's being healed right now and she don't even know it. Your mother's being healed right now and she don't even know it. Thank you, Lord, mighty God. Have your way. Have your way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, you in the glasses, will you move run around here for me one time? 
so I don't have to use all my energy. Yes, Lord. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way. And lift your hands up. Worship God for a moment. Have your way. Have your way. I see fire all over this place. I said I see fire all over this place. I said I see fire all over this place. I see him hovering over you. Something's going on right now. Something's happening right now. Jackie, something's going on right now. Something's going on. Something's happening. Something's happening right now. Lift your hands up over there. Something's happening right now. Carla, get to your feet. You, with the colored hair. Get up. Something's happening right now. All you have to do is lift your hands up and receive it. Something's going on right now. Something's happening right now. The Spirit's moving right now. Something's going on. Something's happening right now. Something's going on right now. Somebody's, somebody's throat. Something's going on right now. Something. Lift your hands up quick. Something's going on. Woo! Something's happening. My words. Oh, shh. Something's going on. Lift your hands up. Close your eyes. Something's happening. Somebody say, I feel your presence. Somebody say, I feel your presence. Somebody say, I feel your presence. Somebody say it again, I feel your presence. Feel your presence. Hey, you, when you great, get up here. <laughs> Another thing, when you minister in the spirit, don't try to call names out. Just make commands. Drag her up here if you have, go help him. <clears throat> Woo! Something's happening. Down there, down there, down there. Down there. Oh, my words. Whew. Down this way. Lift your hands up. Ever begin to worship God? Everyone, say, we worship you. We worship shh, shh, shh. Lift your hands up. Say that. Say, we worship you. Say, we worship you. Say it again. We worship you. Mighty God. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Something's happening with this guy right here in the this what what color is that? This thing, this thing. Something's happening right there. Something stand still, don't move. Stand still. Something's happening right now. up Lord come and quench this thirsting in my soul 
bread of heaven. Feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup. Fill it up and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting in my soul. Bread of heaven. move stand still <clears throat> stand still <clears throat> stand still <clears throat> something's getting ready to happen <clears throat> no music <clears throat> just touch her on the head and sing that song to her <clears throat> you help him. all my words is thirsty of my soul. Fill my cup. 
fill it up and make me whole. Again, fill my cup, Lord. Can you pick and that up? Lift it up, Lord. Come and quench. Come and quench this thirsty of my soul. Bread of heaven. Bread of heaven. Fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup. Fill it up and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. Fill my cup, Lord. And lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsty of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me Huh? Do you have you ever prayed in tongues? You do? Let me hear you. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Really? What do you think about that? Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll find a little bit. Hey, what chord was he singing in? What chord was he singing in? <laughs> Lift your hands up. Everyone with your eyes closed. I want to share something with you real quick. See this guy in his horn? When he first came here, he said, I can only play by notes. That's right. I said, get on the platform. You're going to learn to play by the, by the Spirit. So he did learn that. How many of you guys know that if you ask God, we're not bastards? That's it. That's it. You're saying it. Did you hear what I just said to you? We're not bastards. We have a Heavenly Father that wants us. Receive it. Now! Now! Hang on, dude, guys. He'll go forward. Hey, what are you doing? Get up. Lift your hands up. Get rid of that defeated spirit. Leave it now. Leave it at the cross. Somebody worship God for a minute. I said, somebody worship God for a minute. I said, somebody worship the Lord for a moment. I said, somebody worship God for a minute. Somebody worship God. Give me something to worship with. Drums, hit the drum. Hey, brother, did you just learn something? Did you just learn something? Just now. If you didn't catch that, brother, did you catch just what happened? I sent you to what? 
minister. <laughs> no. <laughs> Norma, lift your hands up, hon. Let the Holy Spirit touch you right now. Let him touch you right now. Get rid of the defeated spirit and let him touch you right now. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Did he leave? Hey, you in the blue. Did he leave? Huh? Get up until it goes. You, did he leave? Get up. Jesus. Get her up here until it goes. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way. This is a childhood defect. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Till it goes. <laughs> Have her lift her hands up and open her mouth. It's coming out of her today. That defeated spirit's leaving her today. Open up her mouth. Here it comes. 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 Woo! And you got the anointing on you. Come here and lay your hands on her. Belly and forehead, belly and forehead, belly and forehead. <coughs> touch her and touch her. Ah. <coughs> uh, uh, hey, can I play that for a minute? <laughs> Lift your hands up, everybody. Somebody say, oh. Somebody say, holy. Somebody say it again, holy. Get a mic, Sister Marar. Lift your hands up. Deliverance is coming right now. A little more, brother. You gotta give me a little more. Holy. Holy. Holy is a lamb. Holy is a lamb. Yes, 
stuff coming out of him right now. I said there's some generational stuff coming out. Oh my words. You feel it Jackie? Stomach. 
for a moment. Somebody walk around the platform with her. hours at a time. Yes. You remember that? Nobody be standing. Everybody be on their face. Kids. Have your way. Oh, precious Savior, have your way. Grundle. God's not done with you yet, hon. Come here. He's just not done with you yet. Kick your shoes off. You're on holy ground. Where'd the other one go? Where'd, that, where'd the other one go? The short one.
Have your way, have Get the guy in the blue, quick. Have your way, have your way. Right now, both of you. Put your mind on God. Put your mind on God. He's the power and the might. He's the power and the might. Yes, it is. He's the power and the might. Ain't that right? white hat. Lord, yes, Lord, Lord. She ain't leaving until here until her stomach's healed. Yes, Lord. Lift your hands up. Have your way, God. Do you believe God? Have your way. What is it with her stomach? What is it? What is it? Was it like pain? When? Put your hands up. And do you believe in fire? You get afraid of me sometimes, don't you? I don't blame you. <clears throat> it's coming out of her right now. Oh, mighty God. Right now! <laughs> okay, I need two women to get on her stomach. In her seat. Two women, not men. Women. <clears throat> Start in her seat, eat over her stomach, please, real quickly. There you go. Put your hands on her. Pray together. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, could you do that with E minor, what I was doing? Yeah, re e. yeah E minor. Yep. Yeah, look at that. You could probably add more to it. Father God. Keep it going, Father God. A little higher. 
Take him a little higher, mighty God. Take him a little higher. Take him a little higher. Take him a little higher. Yes, Lord. Higher in the name of Jesus. I'll tell you what you learn after church. Tell him I want to hear him praying out loud. Loud. Tell him, whisper in his ear. Yes, no. Tell him louder. Tell him louder. No, no, I want tongues. I don't want no thank you, Jesus, or thank you, Uncle Mark. Tongues. tongues. There you go, there you go. Louder, 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 louder. There you go, louder. Hey, louder. Talk to him. Say louder, 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 louder. anybody dead yet? You know it the minute you do. Huh? It suck, just suck you dry. No relationship, no walk. It's chemically devised. back there. Something's going to happen with her kids. Something's happening with her kids. Spirit's drawing them. Spirit's working on them right now. Spirit's working on them right now. Hey, I tell you, there's some power in that corner over there. Hey, give me some water. Thank you. Hey, how you feeling?
drink so much water, I'm floating. <laughs> Put your hand on your stomach and say, hey, you are not going the other direction. Get him. Hey, 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 put your hands on him, quick. He was going to head down the wrong street. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Hey, when I get hey, you, come here. You know how old I am? Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. I'll be, I'll be 63 in, um, in January. So when I go home, you know what I'm going to do? Thank <laughs> you. No, I just have a lot of energy. You know what I mean? Oh, brother, you got fire all over in your eyes. Why didn't you down there praying over that guy? Put your hand on his belly. Hallelujah. Cast that wrong direction out of him. I'm glad you got a lot of energy, brother. I couldn't do that. I couldn't keep playing for hours. You're not getting tired, are you? Jesus, 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 Jesus. There it comes! I would not trade the anointing for anything, would you? No. Not even your own molding? Not even your own shaping? I wouldn't trade the anointing for anything. For all that is within me will worship God. And every demon in hell has to bow to that. Hey, what are you looking at? Stand to your feet. What are you looking at? <laughs> hey, where, where did the mother girls go? Cowards. They ran. Chickens. They probably did. You are meant for greater Somebody very softly say hallelujah. <clears throat> Somebody very softly say hallelujah. Somebody very softly say hallelujah. Hey, you, 
you here in the, uh, um, what's that woman's name? Tina. <clears throat> Tina. Get her up here. Come on, Tina. <clears throat> Get up there, Jackie. <clears throat> Lift your hands up. Got your hands up? Can I, pr can I tell you something? The Holy Spirit just spoke to me as I looked down at you. Couldn't figure out what your name He's going to cast a little stupidity out of you. Stupidity. Human, human stupidity that you thought was your heart and it wasn't. It was just being stupid. It's leaving right now. <clears throat> it's leaving right now. Now the Holy Spirit's going to take charge. Did you hear what I just said? Now the Holy Spirit's going to take charge. Touch her on stomach. Touch her quick. Hang on to her. Hang on to her. On the stomach. Right there you go. Right there. Right there. <coughs> thank you. Thank you. There it goes, it's leaving. It's leaving here. Now this is taking charge. It's leaving. It's leaving right now. See that? You guys know what's going on? Does anybody know what's happening here? You know what's happening right now? Do you, do you know what's happening right now? Do you know what's happening right now? Do you? Do you? You know what's happening? At any time today, was anyone confused? Tell me. Everybody knew what was happening? Okay. <coughs> you, do you have a grove somewhere? I sense a gross, gross, or not gross, say that word. Growth. Growth. I don't know what it is. I sense it on it right now. But touch her quick, 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 my words. <laughs> Goodbye. No more. No more. Yes, Lord, no more. I sense another one right here in the white hat. God's not done with you yet. Come here, I sense another one. A growth. Come here. Am I, do I know what I'm talking about or do you know what I'm talking about? You're getting healed right now. Lift your hands up. Jackie, Jackie. Lay your hand on her stomach. Just lay your hand on her stomach. You're being healed right now. I don't know what these growths are, but God's doing something right now. He's doing something right now. Have you been having any problems in the stomach area? That's where I think it's at. It's gone. See, I didn't know what that gift was. When I would say something to somebody, they didn't know what I was talking about. I got home one day and the Holy Spirit said, I'm telling you what's in them. They don't even know it. Okay. Huh? Did you hear the word bladder? No. I don't hear everything, though. Hey, can you give me some water when you guys? Are you at a meditation state? I didn't think so, so come on up. <clears throat> I'm at a dentist. My dentist used to get over the top of me. He'd give me gas. And he'd get over the top of me and he'd, he'd shake me. And I'd look at him he'd go, Are you at a pleasant level? I'd say, Have at it, Bubba. <laughs> you ever had gas? Yeah. Have you? Uh -huh. I had anesthesia before. I freaked out when I woke up. Yeah. You lift your hands up. Uh-oh. Here's what he's doing right now to you. He's giving you some backbone. Backbone. You know? You understand what that means? You do? What does it mean? It means uh, have courage. And right. That's what he's doing right now. Close your eyes right now. He's doing that right now. 
as we speak. Spiritual spine operation. From your lower spine, up through the back, up through your neck, saith the Lord thy God. I am breaking every chain that holds you, saith the Lord. And I am calling you into the kingdom of power and the kingdom of authority, saith the Lord thy God. And I break those chains. I break those chains. And now. Jesus, have your way, God. I know I couldn't stand under that. Could you? There ain't no way I could stand. If somebody was doing that to me, there ain't no way I could stand or anything. You got people around you that's working your demise as I speak. They're working out your demise right now. They're working out your demise right now. Yes, yes, yes. Lift your hands up. Close your eyes. Your father is an alcoholic. Alcoholic. He's not a Sunday night drinker or a Tuesday night drinker. He is an alcoholic. He's a drunk. Lift your hands up. Whoever that's for, receive it right now. God's doing something. If that's you, get up here on this platform. If that's you, get up on this platform. Come quickly now. If that's your dad. <clears throat> okay. Well, somebody called my dad. I like that. Wouldn't you take off running? They just sit there. They're just sitting there looking. Who's going to tell that? <clears throat> There's nobody in the church. Excuse me. Lift your hands up. As a matter of fact, stand up. <clears throat> this is the weirdest thing. I've never called this out before. <clears throat> hands up. Close your eyes. If I see anyone open their eyes while I'm calling this out to see who it is. Now I'm only going to say this one time and I want you, the person, whoever it is, lift your hands up as high as you can get them. You have a physical disease. Who is it? Physical. I think I just caught something. Whew. Jesus. Everybody in the church say, I, I am, am healed. healed. Now praise him. Now I'm going to preach. I'm going to preach to you. Glory to God. Somebody praise him. Here, Jay, help this guy out. <clears throat> hey, go down this way. <clears throat> hey, 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 where are you going? Lift your hands up. Over your head. Look at me. Look me in the eyes. Look well, down to ground. Hell's down there. Heaven's up here. Pray in the Holy Spirit right now. Loud as you can. Look up. Keep going until I tell you to stop. Louder. 
Does he do that all the time? You know a guy with dreadlocks? You know somebody with dreadlocks? You know they don't let dreadlocks come to school? No. Good, then when you meet him, stay away from him. Okay, okay take off. <laughs> run around the church. Run, 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 run. Show him how to run. Somebody show him how to run. Anybody got any strength left? <clears throat> you know why I stopped him from filling my cup, don't you? Have your way done. Hello? Have your way done. Have your way done. Have a seat, everybody. Thank you. Where'd the cowards go? <laughs> Had two of them leave. Two cowards. My sister and uh, and the uh, niece. Now, I know neither one of my sisters has a dad because he died in 68, so they ain't going to no uh, parties. No. <laughs> ain't that right? <clears throat> what is it? Today's Father's Day, right? Actually, Father's Day. Jackie, get up here and sing until I... I got to go in the office, man. Come on, come on, move. Yeah, get up here. Come on. You come here and help her. Come on. You gotta give me. You gotta. Guys, gotta give me two minutes. You're gonna clear the church out. Come here. Fill my cup, Lord. Get your husband to help. He'll help you. Yeah. No. Okay. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord, come and quench this thirsting of my soul, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no. Fill my cup, fill it up and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this hursting of Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up and make me whole. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you guys still have your dads? Lift your hand up. Stand to your feet. Let me see. I got to count you. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> I'm going to be 63 in January. My dad died when I was 12, 1968. I'm still not over it. <clears throat> Probably never get over it. I want to say something to you before I tell you what I got written down here, okay? Is that okay? <clears throat> so there's no mistakes, Margaret. I want to tell you what we, what we believe in so there's no mistakes. 
I believe in the Trinity, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. I believe that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin birth. I believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe in the church, and I believe in what the church is supposed to be. I believe that sin will stop the church. I believe in salvation. If you're not saved, you're going to hell. I believe in Satan. I believe in angels. I believe in the Bible. I believe in prophecy. I believe in Israel. And I believe in the rapture. Just so there's no mistakes. You were given some estimates the other day on people, ministers that don't believe that stuff no more. Well, we don't care what backslidden ministers believe. Amen. We don't even care what the devil says. Amen. We only care what God says. Amen. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Did you hear what I said? They are wolves in sheep's clothing. <clears throat> Father's Day, so it's Father's Day. I want you to turn your Bibles over and just follow me for a minute. And if I start going too fast, don't let me lose you. Luke 23, 43. Grendel, <clears throat> where were you at when we lost Dad? <clears throat> were you in Michigan? <clears throat> Take it. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. I want you to do me a favor. I want everybody to read that out loud. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. You got that scripture in you? Psalms 23. Short. Pulled out of context constantly. <clears throat> Used for death and not life. Psalms 23, read that. The Lord is my shepherd. Matter of fact, everyone read it with her, please. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. My emotions. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. <clears throat> yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the Stop. presence. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy. They use these scriptures for funerals. There's no enemy in heaven. None. They don't exist. So when God looked at the two thieves and he said, Today, right now, you will dine with me in paradise. He took paradise into heaven with him and he put the table out before the church. And the church only wants certain portions of it. Well, we're going to get it all, brother. I said, we're going to get it all. We're going to come and dine, the master calleth, come and dine. I will feast at Jesus' table all the time. Somebody praise him for a minute. I said, somebody praise him for a minute. Paradise, the Bible says, is now in heaven, but paradise has entered into us. Woo! Thou hast anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over, mighty God. You don't need no cup running over in heaven, brother. I can imagine as the angels, angels bow before Jesus Christ. They bow. Can you imagine just the mention of his name? He, he doesn't have a last name, Christ. But God don't have a last name. Why do you give it to him? You prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy. We got to feast on the Holy Spirit today. I said we got to feast on the Holy Spirit today. I said we got to feast on the Holy Ghost. The power of glory came down and touched every one of us. Finish it. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me the all the days. days of my life. There's no days of life in heaven. It's eternity. It's eternity. 
And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Is that it? Six verses, right? Somebody say amen. amen. Now follow me please. Look at your neighbor and say we're going to follow this guy today. John chapter 4. Excuse me. Do I want John chapter 4 right now? I'll take John chapter 4 right now. John 4. <clears throat> 32. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Hit it again. But he said unto them, I have meat to Who's eat. Who's speaking here? Look in your Bibles and see if it's in red. Yeah. Is it red? Yeah. That means Jesus is talking. Somebody say, it's red. It's red. So that means, I got a Bible in the office. It's red in the Old Testament when God's talking. <clears throat> say to them, I have meat that you know nothing of. Yeah. I eat from paradise every day. Yeah. You don't know anything about it. I'm eating at the table of glory that you've never eaten off before. But you can come and dine any time you want. There's another scripture that Jesus Christ said, My meat, my meat, is to do the will of the Father. Isn't that right? So I say, give me meat, Pastor. It's the will of the Father. Lift your hands up and receive the will in your life. You're going to spiritually receive it right now. You've questioned God and said, God, what's my next journey? What's my next step? How do I make this? How do I make that? He's filling you right now with his will. Have your weight, Have your weight. Today you will know. John 4, 34. Jesus saith unto them, my meat is to do the will of the Sounds like a repeat, don't it? Me. Go back to John 4. The first verse, yeah, and then read down to uh, 34. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Three, there you go. Therefore said the disciples one to another, hath any man brought him aught to eat? Has anybody brought him something to eat? He's talking about meat. Somebody, what's he eating? He's going to say in verse 34. Jesus saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his Lift work. Lift your hands up. You're not going to quit. You're not going to stop. You're going to rush into the kingdom of God. And God is going to fill you today with such power and authority. You will never question him again. It will be yay and amen. Yeah. Somebody get up and praise him. Did you hear what I just said? My words, are you dead? I'm talking about the Father. I'm talking about God. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the one that came from heaven and received you as his personal own. Yes. Oh, have your way, God. I'm talking about God and Isaiah. When he said, I'm looking around for someone that will go. And Jesus said, I'll take the mission. Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes, Mighty God, I had no idea what a father was until I met you. Amen. Had no idea what nourishing was until I met the Father of Heaven. Amen. Had no idea. I had no idea until one day on 570 Oakland Avenue, I went into a prayer closet and the power of God came in there and he said to me, I'm going to nurture you, I'm going to take care of you because everything I have given you has come from my hand. Somebody praise him a minute. I said, somebody, you're going to hear fire come out of this pulpit, guys. This church is going to get filled with the power of the resurrection. Oh, death ears are going to open up. The lame are going to walk. The dead are going to rise. They're going to bring them in wheelchairs. And God's going to heal them.
anyone in the room, <clears throat> anyone in this room, if your father is old enough, your earthly father, not your heavenly father, anyone in the room, can you tell me where your dad was 74 years ago? Anybody? <clears throat> 74 years ago. Is your dad that old? He's not. Anybody's dad that old? My dad is deceased, but I got a chance to see. That's not the question I'm asking you. <clears throat> 74, you know he was 74 years ago today he was on a farm. <clears throat> you know where my dad was at? 74 years ago? Huh? June 6th he stormed the shores of Omaha Beach. 2,000, we lost 2,000 men that day. Up to this point, what's the day today? 17. Up to this point now, it took him about, took a long time to get off of Omaha Beach. Does anybody know what I'm talking about, Omaha Beach? Yeah. Yeah. Raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about. Because I, I might call on you and say, what am I talking about? Then don't raise your hand. <clears throat> they stormed France and Normandy, our troops did, to free the people from Hitler. So there was a little beach called Omaha Beach, a little beach called Utah Beach, Gold, Juno, and Sword. It was at the Ocean's Line into France. It was called Operation Overlord. My father looked into heaven as he was dodging the machine guns from the tops of the hills. They told him, when you get out of the ships, here's what we need you to do. Run as far as you can up the... They had about a 300-yard dash. Run as far as you can to the cliffs and dig in. He did that. And he told me this personally. This isn't hearsay. This isn't something my mama told me. He told me this. He said, I told God, I said, if you get me off this beach, I'll give you my life. It didn't work that way. So from up to this date, they got off the beach and then they began to storm into France to destroy Hitler's fortress yeah, Europa. That's what they call it. Fort Ger I, I can't even... When you know anything, honey, you're going to have to help me out. Fortress Europa. Thank you. Say it again. Fortress Europa. Now let me tell you what that was. As they were running up the beach, there's about a 400, 300 foot cliff. Pull it up on your internet. France, Omaha Beach cliffs. They get to the bottom of the cliffs. They got to shoot ropes up so they can climb up this mountain as they're up on top. Five hundred of the men never even made it to shore. Five hundred. They drowned. They took them in, ra in uh, uh, floating uh, machinery and they couldn't get them up close enough so they said, you guys just jump out and they jumped out and the water was 20 foot deep. They had so much equipment on them, they drowned, 500 of them. If my dad could hear me, I'd say, you said you'd give him your life? Well, I've given him mine to replace it. Somebody praise him a minute. Yes, <laughs> so as we sit here today, and that was June 6, 1944. As we sit here today, you got it, brother? Did you find it? Yeah. Kind of neat looking, eh? It is. Yeah. It looks good now, don't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let me tell you this. We've been, we've been praising the Father all day. So I, I'm going to do this because I've never done this before. So they're up at the top. It's called what again? Fortress Europa. That was Hitler's guns at the top. Here's what they thought. They thought, they thought that Utah Beach was going to get hit the hardest. Possibly gold, possibly Juno, possibly sword. There was five drops. They did not think Omaha Beach was going to get hit so hard. Hitler had a mind blast. And he said, let's put everything at Omaha Beach. And that's where we dropped them. I remember my dad telling me as a kid, he said, 
Well, I'm just going to tell you everything. When he got, he went in, he lied. My dad lied. He said, I'm 18 years old, really, he was 17. He lied to get in. See, when they hit us at Pearl Harbor in 41, you didn't have to run out in the street to find men to fight. They went to fight. You didn't have to beg them to fight. There was men then. There wasn't a bunch of panty waste running around. We've taken our, our boys and we're turning them to little girls. Have you lived with their little tight slacks that they wear? We don't have men like that no more. You didn't have to beg them to go fight. He got home and he had to see a psychiatrist. My mother took him in to see a psychiatrist. And he called my mother, the psychiatrist, after he seen him. Here's what he said. He split. His mind split at Normandy. I heard a song the other day. It goes like this. Men, you'll, re, you'll know the song, it was in the 60s. Men are still fighting after war. Devastation. It didn't stop there. My father would gather us up into the house and he'd say, get down, get down. Here they come. He split. When he died, he had like, how many tumors in his head? 11. 11 tumors in his head. Demon power. It was demon power. The reason I know it was demon power because Sister Mary Crouch was going to cast it out of him. I, I'm, there's no, you know, it's spilled milk. <laughs> now I was only 12 years old. It's, my mother said somebody led him to the Lord. I, thank you, Jesus. So Father's Day, I want to. We've been we've been worshiping the Father since 11 o'clock. It's, it's two o'clock right now. So I thought because I've never done that before, I probably would have never made it through it that I wanted to talk about my father. <clears throat> and basically that's all I know. Because he, you know, he died because I, you know, I was so young. 12 years old. <clears throat> How old were you when your dad died? Was anybody young when you lost your father? Oh, I know you were. You're my sister. <laughs> Who? <clears throat> 14? It's tough, ain't it? It's worse on a male. Because at that age, you need a man to go, hey, you're not going that way, you're going this way. <clears throat> well, Father, we thank you today. We're going to let it get out of here. We thank you, Father God, for your presence. Thank you for your anointing, Lord Father God. And we just worship you. We thank you, Lord Father, for teaching. On my behalf, I thank you for teaching me what a father is and how you nurture someone that has not been connected with the earthly father. You nurture us so we can nurture, minister, and be what you want us to be. We just give you praise and glory for it, Father God. And we walk out of this church, Lord Father God, don't let us forget about the power that was demonstrated in here today. Don't let us forget about the, the Holy Ghost power that fell in this place today. Let us tell people about it. Truly there is a God in heaven. Somebody say amen. amen. You guys have a good Father's Day. No communion. Oh, communion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys slap me. I ain't thinking about communion. I know that. Oh. Whoo. <clears throat> you guys, I haven't slept in 10 days. <clears throat> well, that, no, I, that's not true. Last night I slept for about three hours. <clears throat> oh. Did you ever find them other two girls that took off?
That's one big watch. <clears throat> if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you may come up now and receive communion. Am I wet? Oh, I am wet. <clears throat> there ain't nobody in here about thinking about leaving state, are you? Moving out of state? <clears throat> you thinking about? Hey, Diane, do we know that song, All Hell the Power of Jesus? Man. Could you play it? <clears throat> no, I don't mean today. I mean, but could you? <clears throat> I think it's a hymn. <clears throat> I just shot in my spirit. It could be a hymn. I don't know. I've never sung out of hymn books. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for the move of your spirit in here today. Father, we thank you, Lord, Father God, for the healings that took place and deliverance, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you showed us that you are God and you moved mightily in here. And Father, we thank you for it. And this day, as we take up this communion, Father God, drink, eat this bread and drink this cup, Father God, we do it in remembrance of what your son did for us, Lord. And we thank you for it, Father, and we will not take it lightly, Father God, that had it not been for the love that you have for us, Lord, we wouldn't be here. But God, we thank you for just a, a taste, Father God, of you showing us what you are able to do, Lord. And we know, Father God, that you are mightier than that, Father God. And we just touched today, Father God. You are great power, oh God. And we thank you for it today, Lord. We thank you and praise you, Lord, Father. And we take up this body, Lord, Father God, that, that, not, that, the, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, his body that was beaten and broken for us. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance Ooh. of me. <clears throat> Ooh, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. And after the same matter also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do you as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Be careful. <clears throat> Real careful. <clears throat> Whoever else lift their hand about leaving state, be real careful. <clears throat> I don't sense that's good. <clears throat> I don't sense it's good. <clears throat> 